as a very art deco in our gallery. There are so many beautiful things to see in this beautiful wall with this art installation that looks like coral, the rapel that we've so it really looks so we've just got very subtle, sophisticated. It looks like little seaweed dated away, it's a very subtle reference. It's a subtle reference to the waves and the water that you see through the window. The dining room has these vast windows across two walls and it's a lot of glass and obviously there's beautiful views outside. But we're very conscious that we wanted to make this room feel much warmer. Let's balance all of that glass. We decided on the walls to do a beautiful polished plaster which adds some warmth and interest onto the this room is quite formal and we wanted to balance that by introducing a slightly more fun chandelier which means it's just about creating a focal point in the room. So we combine that with three spotlights that shine down directly in the centre of the table and they are the primary light source. We think about how you can add interest so it doesn't become too boring. What we've done here is we've mixed up the direction of the grain to, and the other reason why we did that was we also had to have a join in this table. We couldn't have it made into one piece. Hi guys, so I just got ready my hair, it looks so good. I'm also trying to film a reel. I have my outfits here. So this is the other vest that I was telling you guys about. This is in like a very light grey, greyish colour. And then this one is, what colour is this really? Is it blue or... And then I have this pink, pink, uh, pink t-shirt. And then this is the one I was looking for, the white one. These baggy dead uh, jeans from Levi's. So I'm just going to try both outfits and see which one I like. I'm going to put you guys here so you can also see. But the shorter version of this video. Oh, well, I can't do that. Also, you guys, we just got the most exciting news. The board for the dressing room is ready to collect. So we're trying to find... Um, uh, a place not a place like a company where we can go do the cutting and edging um so we'll go maybe today or tomorrow but yeah right now i'm just getting ready to go antique shopping at my one of my favorite antique stores i feel like i say every place is my favorite but yeah, i'm really excited that we are going to be finally collecting the board and build our dream dressing room i'm, I'm really really excited we already have the marble so let me get dressed. <laughs> this is a basic t-shirt from Zara. These are the same jeans that I wore in the previous reel, I think. No, not the previous reel, like two reels before this one. Sunglasses from Mango. Yesterday's heroes, yesterday's heroes. I hope they still they're still open. Yesterday's heroes antique store. Says so eight point eight kilometers. But it doesn't show if they are open or closed. Let me call them. Okay, I'm just calling them. Do I even have a time? Wow, I don't have a time. I don't have a time. Yeah, you guys, I'm so excited for the dressing room. Really, really excited. I shouldn't be going antique shopping, but you know what? YOLO! Money comes and goes. I feel like ever since I started living my life like that, I'm much happier and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello, Terry speaking. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And you? We close at five. At the edge of sale on at the moment. Anything in particular that you're looking for? I am looking for artwork. Artwork. Okay. We'll, we'll come in. I, I'm not going to be here, but my staff will be here until five. Otherwise, you can come in tomorrow morning. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you, bye. Welcome. <laughs>
No, the man has to come. You can never answer me to that before the end of today. Uh, what number are you talking about? No. Okay. Am I the most that I can tell for? No, but I'm five. I'm going to be tired. 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 I'm going to Yes, I am going to go for it. Okay. So. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Go clean. Okay, so they close at 5 and my boyfriend's going to take me at 4. So I'm going to wait for him. I don't want to Uber, so I'm just going to wait until 4 and then we'll go. I think for now I'm just going to edit that reel that I was shooting. I don't know how it looks. I but it should be decent i'm gonna edit that reel and post it on my on my main account and what else oh you guys i wanted to show you let me take off this because i'm not going anytime soon i wanted to show you i ordered this blazer from superbalist i tried showing you in the last last vlog but lighting was so bad but I'm also going to show you guys what I've been obsessed with. This is turning into a fashion vlog. But let me show you. I was so disappointed, you guys, with the... I was so disappointed with the, the material of this blazer. Um, so I ordered this blazer from Mango. It's a really nice, beautiful color. Love, love the color so much. And I also got this... I also got this. Also got this one. This is the waistcoat. Actually, I can wear this with these jeans. Like, I think it's a really nice look. It can be a really nice look with these jeans. But yeah, this is the waistcoat that I got. I got it from Mango. Really, really loved it. Um, so I decided to buy the blazer as well. And I thought, I mean, the material of the waistcoat is not like thick. It's a very light material, but I didn't mind because it's a waistcoat. So I got the blazer as well. It looks structured and boxy on the on the app, but when I got to see it in person, I was really disappointed. So the body is fine, but the arms, like the arms, I don't know, like the material feels like different. But you know what? I've decided to keep it because I really love like the color. I love the lines. It's just a really beautiful blazer and I also don't have anything in this color. Uh, I got it in size extra small. It is a bit long because I'm very short so I'll have to wear it like this. But yeah, this is the blazer I got from Mango. And yeah, I'm going to be wearing this at work. I'm going back to, I mean, I'm going to work twice a week. So I've been really enjoying like wearing my clothes because like, I never really go out. So I had clothes that like uh, still had tags and I had so many pants uh, and shirts that still had tags. And now that I'm, I'm back at work, um, I'm going to the office twice a week. I get to wear like all those clothes that I, I haven't had the chance to wear. So yeah anyway i also have i wanted to show you guys my waistcoat collection i love waistcoats you guys i love them so much and i have a little collection i haven't worn this one because i recently got it absolutely love it the, love the material i love the color it's really beautiful I love it so much. I think this was eight something. But yeah, I got it from Mango. I got it in extra small. I actually wanted to get a small because I wanted it to be a bit oversized. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it. I cannot wait to wear this. I think I'm going to wear it next time um, in a vlog. And then next one, I haven't worn this one. I actually don't like the quality of this one. But it was also very affordable. I got it from H&M. Um, it was 279 I got it in extra small and yeah the quality I mean the fabric is very light but I think you can definitely like style this and make it look nice because it is a nice waistcoat I feel like waistcoats are very basic it's just how you dress them and yeah I haven't worn this but I think this could also work with this outfit okay 
next one you guys have seen you might have seen this one if you follow my main um main account on instagram this one is also from mango and i just love it so much it looks black on camera but it's actually is it navy or it's just me this was part of their limited edition or was it a special special edition i don't know but i really really love this one i actually i think i wore it i wore it when i went to the h&m home event and yeah i really love this one like guys this is never going out of style so it's a forever timeless classic piece of clothing next one these ones are also my faves i got these from h&m but these ones the quality of these ones is much better than the pink one that i showed i showed you from h&m these ones um like even the material the fabric feels really amazing um and heavy so this is the first one it's basically the same thing but in two different colors this is a cream um color i think these were like four something 420 470 i don't remember but yeah the, the the quality of these ones is very nice compared to the pink one i wore this one at the choreographed event and i absolutely love it really really love it and then this black one i don't remember if i've worn this but yeah there's also this black one and i got them in size size is this euro 34 these are from h&m i'm not sure if they still have them i think i got them via superbalist but yeah i really really love these and these are never going out of style sometimes you want to elevate your basics and waistcoats are the simplest way to elevate your look you can like dress them down dress them up depends on like the look you're going for but yeah i really really love waistcoats and i think i'm gonna I'm gonna try and style them in one of my videos let me know if you guys would like to see that because i know i've been doing a lot of um i've been doing a lot of like home home type of content like home related content but i know there are some people who have like to see what i'm wearing so if you guys are still interested in those videos let me know but if you don't want to see that here on youtube also let me know if you just prefer to see it on instagram that's also fine i can just do like reels on instagram because i've been really enjoying like filming my outfit um like my workwear outfit i've been really really enjoying those but yeah that is basically what i wanted to show you i'm just gonna go and actually there's nothing i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and charge this camera and i think i shall see you guys when we go to the um, to the antique store show you what we got what i got i want to show you guys what i got from the antique store so i went to yesterday's heroes in renberg and i got a few things so let me quickly show you this is the first little jug i got this is a copper yeah this is copper yes this is copper so this is a copper vase jug it's not a vase the jug so they had like different sizes of these they had 
the smallest size and then they had a, then they had a medium sized one and then they had the large one which i will show you just now so this was 200 rands i think they said they'll be closing around december so if you still want to go you can go but yeah this is the first jug i got my boyfriend left it here so i think i'm also gonna leave it here for now and then we also have the bigger one this was the biggest one and they only had this one left so this is the biggest one they had um this one was initially 500 rands and i paid 300 rands for it it's so big you guys I'm, go I'm just gonna put it like next to my head so you can see how big it is it's really really big so yeah i'm really happy that i got these i think this is also copper i'm not sure where i'm gonna use it right now but i'll definitely find i'll find a spot it's really really stunning um and then the next things i got you guys are sitting on top of these other items so i'm gonna put you guys here next thing i got is this picture i think this was this was 100 rands and i just love how different it is it's broken so i just need to fix it but it has this uh, ceramic plate and i think i want to hang it here because the main reason why i went to to this antique store i went there because i really wanted to find um I wanted to find um, artwork because I feel like the artwork I have is is boring so I wanted to find like different artwork and um, I only found like two the frame is really nice and unique I don't think I've seen anything like this before so yeah I'm really really happy with this one I'll show you guys where I want to hang these there's no stamp at the back but there's a name if anyone knows who this person is i want my entryway to be unique i don't want it to have like um i still do want to have like new like new pieces but i want it to be mainly like vintage because i want it to have like a unique look i want it to have that old rich vibe i really want it to go bold with the paint color but unfortunately my boyfriend didn't like that so we went with this color which i'm i'm actually loving to be honest um i'm loving this color but with the accessories i want it to be rich and and by rich i don't mean like in terms of money i, I mean like rich in terms of texture and color i just want the accessories to be vibrant so yeah that's what i wanted to do so when i saw this one when i saw this piece it just spoke to me like i knew it had to be i had to come back home with this so the door is open so i'm not sure if you guys can hear the noise um it's very hot today but i want to hang it okay let me zoom in i want to hang it like somewhere yeah it really really stands out i just want a different vibe here in the entryway so if you see this beautiful vintage and all this uh concrete pillars the the roman uh corners i just want the entryway to give you like an idea of what to expect i want it to reflect the style of this house oh, another thing i love about this picture is the blue i feel like blue is not a color that i normally use i don't think i use blue like i don't have anything like any decorative piece in blue so to have something in blue that i love um yeah it, it, it makes me happy because that's not a color i normally gravitate towards towards so yeah really love this piece sorry guys i've been talking and talking and talking and then the last one i got is this one so this one is i don't know what i think the the inset the inset is like a copper copper material i don't know but i feel like it's copper it looks like copper it even has like this texture but i might be wrong but i really really love this um this artwork it's a picture of a woman i think she's naked she's naked but oh is she half naked i don't know but i can see her breast so it's a picture of a woman and i just love i i love it i love the frame as well and i also love that the picture is not like completely covering the um, uh the space 
like it's inside just like how i wanted my 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 printed pictures to be i love i just love it it's very different i really really love buying uh, artwork from antique stores because you never find like the same thing like they, there's always different very interesting pictures so yeah i really love it and also this one is also gonna go here so i just want this wall to be full of artwork like unique beautiful artwork so this one is also going here you don't need like an additional source of light because it's gonna be under that light fixture so i feel like it will be really beautiful and the light will illuminate and it's it's just gonna work i really really love this let me see how it looks next to this one ah it's so stunning you guys it's so stunning um i think this is gonna be my next like little project but yeah, I'm really, really happy with everything I found. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really happy. I think in total I paid, I think this one, the, 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 the one that I just showed you now, I think I paid 200 rands for it. Yeah, because I think in total I paid, actually, do you have a receipt? In total I paid 800 rands, so like for everything. So yeah, I think that's quite affordable um but yeah i think i'm gonna go now guys i'm gonna go and change um i wanted to go to curry craft but the reason why i wanted to go is because i wanted to get um they have these like new terracotta vases and i wanted to get one but i feel like i've already like i, I have these two jars that i got so it's fine this table is still gonna move don't worry about it i know someone is gonna ask why is the table here but i told you guys I want a marble table. So gonna like I'm gonna keep on looking for this marble table because I really want a marble table. Hello, blue, blue. Hello. He always sits there and he stares at the wall. Hello, baby. Hello, my angel. Hello, blue cat. Guys. I love this little corner in summer it's so beautiful it's really really beautiful my hydrangeas they are so pretty I love the purple ones I just really love them I prefer these ones over um, over the pink ones I don't like the pink I love this purple I also love white when we start working on the when we start working on the outdoor outdoor area i think i'm gonna change these like this tile or the brick it's actually brick i'm gonna change the brick and use the same uh the same stone the same stone that we used in the entryway here so that it looks nice because i don't like this brick i don't like how it looks but yeah i wanted to show you guys my hydrangeas before i end this vlog okay guys please ignore this white line here the guy is coming again tomorrow to to repaint um we've actually decided to like hire someone like we have like a handyman who comes here on like once a week he comes on saturdays and or sundays so he's coming tomorrow or sunday to to finish the work he did so we've actually been trying to to fix some things like we've noticed that there were some like little cracks on the walls so i've been trying to fix that yeah because we 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 like initially we were doing like these things on our own and we realized that we actually cannot do this like forever like we are always exhausted uh so we decided to get help because yeah we can't do all these things on our own me and Angie, i've decided that i'm not i'm never touching any of like painting i don't mind like painting little things but i've decided to like stop helping because i'm really exhausted like i've been like we've been working on this house and like even though i'm not like doing like um major work i'm just like helping when my boyfriend needs help but i get really tired and, and we end up like working the whole day because we don't like we don't feel like we were we're in a rush because it, it's our home and uh, we can always finish tomorrow and then tomorrow becomes the next day and then the next day it's next week we never finish so we've decided to just hire someone who can who can work with my boyfriend and they can do all these all these things that i want uh, to be done the only thing i'm going to be doing here is just telling them what to do because 
I'm not touching any of these things now. I'm really, really tired. I'm not doing any of the work now. Um, I'm just going to be decorating. But um, anyway, I came here because I wanted to tell you guys how I've been feeling lately. And I feel like ever since I, 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 I didn't want to talk about this because I know I always like get very emotional. And but lately I've been feeling like I've been really happy. I don't know, like something changed. Like, um, so basically when I spoke about how I was feeling about like my my like my body image issues i spoke to you guys about like i didn't really like go deep but i did like um tell you guys how i was feeling but after i spoke about that i got so many dms and there were a few dms that i got where people were saying the same thing and basically they were just like telling me that they also experienced the same thing and um as you get older like you stop worrying about these things and someone actually even said like after 30 you don't you're like you would never worry about these things like you stop worrying about all these little things it may seem like it's um like it's taking over your life because i did explain like how much i was like always thinking about the same thing like it was like in my mind like i was thinking about how i look this whole time and it's not that i don't do it anymore but like i, I still do but now whenever i think about these things or whenever i have these thoughts i always like those dms they like they have like they're always like in my mind like i always remember what they said to me so basically they they told me that as you get older like you stop worrying about these things you realize that like none of those things matter like as long as you're happy as long as you're healthy so whenever i feel like i'm starting to think about or I'm going back like to my old ways or I'm being negative about the way I look I always think about like I always remember what these people said to me and they don't even know that they that they really like touch my heart and they help me so I feel like I'm gonna start crying when <laughs> sorry guys I don't wanna cry uh, I'm really happy I'm really happy but I feel like I always get emotional whenever I talk about my feelings but yeah I'm really I'm, I'm really like I mean I, I'm in such a good space and the one thing that always bothered me i feel like i'm in control like i don't know i've never felt like this whenever i have these like negative thoughts or whenever i feel like i'm starting to worry about what i'm eating again or if i'm starting to worry about how i look i always remember that in the next two years i won't like this won't matter at all like i will be so sad that i wasted my time thinking about all these things instead of like living my life to the fullest and just living life and i feel like right now I, i'm just like 90 percent of the time i'm happy there's that 10 percent where i i fall back and i start like thinking about like the same thing again but 90 percent of the time i feel like i'm i'm really like positive i'm really really happy i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah sorry about the sunglasses <laughs> just been really happy lately and i've been doing things i love i've been i've been enjoying food as well i've been like really enjoying getting dressed i've been enjoying things that i I used to love but I had stopped loving because I worried so much about how I looked I feel like right now I'm living my life for myself I'm not living my life for other people and I'm just in a very like happy little bubble and I'm, I'm really happy I don't know if it shows on camera that I'm happy but I'm just I'm so happy like yeah that's what I wanted to come in and tell you guys is that I'm really happy lately and I hope I can like stay like this forever because it's been it's been really nice like it's been really really nice not to worry about my body not to worry about food because yo you guys jay i just hope i stay like this forever because this is the happiest i've been i feel like it has to do with like with the fact that i'm feeling my body now and my body is repaying me with all this happiness like i'm i'm just always so happy now compared to like a few months ago 
before we moved into this house i was i was like i feel like i was always looking for things to make me happy my happiness was lasting maybe like for like five minutes and then i would spend the rest of the day just thinking about food thinking about my body thinking about what i want to change how i want to look like um i would have like these crazy targets for myself and i'm so happy that for the first time in my life i don't like i don't like i'm not worried about that even though like there are some times when like where i i fall back into like these negative thoughts i like i always know what to say to myself whenever i feel like i'm i'm falling back or i'm i'm, I'm having these negative thoughts like i always know what to say to myself and then i feel good so yeah i just came to say thank you guys because I feel like if I had not like spoken about that, I wouldn't be here. Not that I would have died, no. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be like this happy Wendy that you see now. Um, but yeah, that's all I wanted to say and I'm gonna end this video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Guys, in the next one, we are hopefully going to be showing you guys the dressing room. <gasps> It's been years. It's been years. I've been talking about it, and I'm sure you guys like Nikatel. You guys are tired at this point, but I, I'm, I'm really happy that we are starting this next week. We have the slab, we have the boards. Now we need to get them cut and edging, and also we need to buy the strip light. Yeah, that's one thing we haven't done. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. -bye.